Vanessa, thank you. Well, have you ever wondered how we got from Benjamin Franklin discovering electricity to cell phones, TVs, and electric cars? We've come a long way. Our next guest knows something about the steps it took to bridge that gap. Joining me now is Jeff Bahari, curator of the Electromechanical Museum at RGF Environmental. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us today. Let's start by explaining to our viewers about the museum. What is it and where is it? Well, RGF is an environmental company locally. We make 500 products for basically purifying air, water, and uh, food. And these kind of represent the origins of the technologies used at our company. So come down this end a little closer to me. We'll start here and make our way down. What is this device in front of us? This starts off as something just kind of fun. It's a, a magneto generator from the Civil War era. It would shock people and they would advertise it would bring people back from the dead. Absolutely bogus, of course, but <laughs> a fun piece of history. That's incredible. And then here, what is this device? This here is, uh, again, early, early medical electricity generator um, from the 1800s, sort of first experience people had with electricity. Typically, it was a doctor's office, not very pleasant. Electricity has really kind of been a fascination for the human race for, I would say, a long time. It has been since the 1700s. Uh, this one you said is a very visual uh, example. What, what does it do? This is, this is a, a portable x-ray machine, a portable Tesla coil from the early 1900s. And it's not going to make x-rays, but... That is wild. Do it one more time. Sure. I feel like I'm in a Frankenstein movie. Yeah, it is. A lot of these <laughs> things were in props. That is wild. And is that really powerful? I mean, that would hurt, I imagine, if you touched it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to grab hold of it. <laughs> and what is that in your hand? This is a 1920s sun lamp. It was used for tanning. So this is like the original tanning bed? Pretty much. <laughs> Well, we certainly come a long way with our tanning beds. And then down here, what's that? This is one of the oldest things in our collection. It's a static generator from Philadelphia, late 1700s. The only one there at the time playing with electricity was Ben Franklin. This collection is amazing. How long did it take to gather all these items? It was a 20-year process. Wow. Digging everywhere. I was going to say, they don't make these anymore. No, they sure don't. <laughs> And finally, we have our model at the very end here. Tell us what is happening electrically. <laughs> well, this is the, a more modern version of one of these machines, and uh, it's a basis of attraction and repulsion, just like magnets, only with electricity. So we, were, we always see these in, like, science centers and everything. This is obviously an older Tesla version. Talk a little bit about how the static kind of forms and how it does that to her hair. Well, basically, her, uh, she's becoming charged, and like charges repel, so her hair is repelling from itself, in a sense. But really? The same technology is used, for example, in air purifiers to get dust and particles in the air to come together and be more easily removed. Wow. And now, if you were to touch her, would you get shocked? Uh, we might get a little... Oh, <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> I, I don't want to shake your hand. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> but you look beautiful. I really like that haircut. <laughs> it's a good style. <laughs> now, do you have other items? I know I've been there. I've seen the museum. Is it open to the public? How can people check out some of the other things you guys have? If you go to rgf.com, uh, you can find us there and make an appointment and come see the collection. There's more than 500 items there right now. It's really, really impressive. It's, it's something to see for sure. And then you could have a little fun, too, while you're at it. Well, we want to thank you so much for being here. And uh, again, if you want to check out any of these items, they're all on display. They're right in our own backyard, right in Riviera Beach, correct? Yep, Australian 13th. Australian and 13th. There you go. Have a little fun with electricity. We'll be right back. Of course, do it safely. Let me add that. <laughs>